how can exercise training influence uh, uh, cardiovascular risk uh, management? The benefits of exercise on the cardiovascular system are well established. We know that if you exercise, your body mass index is satisfactory and you have a good blood pressure and lipid profile. And through controlling all of these risk factors for atherosclerosis, people who exercise regularly reduce their risk of an, a mortality or an adverse event from cardiovascular disease by around 50%. The amount of exercise that's actually required for these benefits is a minimum of 150 minutes of moderate exercise or 75 minutes of more vigorous exercise per week. But I would recommend that individuals try to do at least twice the current recommendations for satisfactory benefit. Could a reduction of uh, fat intake as uh, an effect on uh, cardiovascular uh, prevention? There is no doubt that trans unsaturated, uh, polyunsaturated fatty acids certainly cause cardiovascular mortality. A 2% increase in these trans uh, polyunsaturated fatty acids increases cardiovascular mortality by around 23%. Most of these uh, trans polyunsaturated fatty acids are from industrialized areas, so try to avoid industrialized uh, fat, although there is legislation to prevent this. Fat is not otherwise bad. In fact, uh, there are very good fats, the polyunsaturated fats, which we find in fish oils and plant oils, are actually good for you. And if you substitute su saturated fats with these type of fats, and if you substitute carbohydrates with these type of fats, you reduce your cardiovascular mortality by a quarter. The, what are the messages from a pure study? The PURE study was a very large study of 135,000 people from 18 countries around five continents where there, are, where are, there were 4,700 odd uh, cardiovascular events and just over 5,000 total mortalities. And what the PURE study showed was that increasing fat, whether it's saturated fat, polyunsaturated fat or monounsaturated fat, was associated with a reduction in mortality. Conversely, increasing your carbohydrate intake, certainly if your carbohydrate intake constituted more than 60% of your entire diet, this was associated with increased mortality. It didn't really matter which type of fat you consumed, whether it was saturated fat, monounsaturated fat, or polyunsaturated fat, there was a mortality benefit. This mortality was all-cause mortality, and not cardiovascular mortality. Clearly, uh, we have to be a little bit cautious about the PURE study because it did involve many low-income countries. There were four or five low-income countries where clearly a high-carbohydrate diet may be a proxy for poverty, uh, which has its own issues, such as stress issues, that may have also contributed to this uh, data. And I think more data is required, but what we learn so far, certainly, is that most of what the ESC 2016 recommendations purport, uh, recommend uh, for diet are quite accurate.